Hello and welcome to the Mobius Archives, this is your host, Mobius Rex, and we are playing Minecraft. Refugees for Regent Challenge, this is based off of the Direwolf 20, um, Direwolf 20 mod pack. And we have found a beautiful area here with twin volcanoes and a not so beautiful area in this direction. If we'd load in, loading rates go all to hell. Uh, when I'm recording, but in this direction we have some taint, some tainted land. Um, in the spirit of Christmas, I am going to uh, reclaim this land in the name of Mobius uh, for the sake of building a new airfield. Oops, not what I wanted to do. That. There we go. Hopefully I'm not stuck to the ground now. Um, so yeah, I want to take this area as an airfield because I thought the... Oh, why am I still carrying this stuff? I saw, thought the area with the, um... I thought the area with the volcanoes was actually super nice. Uh, getting nighttime here. I don't have... Uh, I don't have, um... Knapsack or anything. Sheep, you may become my bed. Yeah, so are sheep. You're becoming my bed. And some of your little friends. Oh, there's some apple trees here. That's actually really nice. Let's take the white sheep. Is it a hole there and a teleporting creeper? That creeper doesn't destroy land. It actually teleports you in a random direction. We also have a dungeon over that way, it looks like. Can I... Yeah. Apple. And there's a... Oh, I thought that was a pesh. It's not a pesh. It's one of those guys. So... Let's put this down. So what I'm going to build, I'm not even hungry, what am I doing? Uh, what I'm going to build, other than a bed, is um, a small little aircraft tower. We don't really need the airfield just yet, we have no planes. And I'm going to look over the holidays, because this is before the holidays, and it's going to be quite close, um, quite, quite close to Christmas by the time it comes out. Another week or so. Come on. But I've been wanting to get an airfield started just so that we have some place to land uh, our airships. Um, looks like we have to patch up a couple holes in the ground. But some place to land our airships um, and eventually planes if we decide to go that route. I think... Oh, actually. Hold on. Sacred tree. I think it's a sacred tree. Let's go over here and find out. Ooh. All right, so we have a great oak. This is a magical forest. Yeah, definitely magical forest. And is this a sacred oak? Yeah, sacred oak. Interesting. We could do the most destructive thing ever and destroy a sacred oak and turn it into an aircraft control tower. So one of our options. Actually, we get to see the valley a lot from this little mound next to the Sacred Oak. What's that? Paper bark. I've never seen that before. Give me a sapling. Give me a sapling. I want a sapling from the paper bark tree. The paper bark tree. The paper bark tree. I... Need inventory space that I don't have. So this is the first paper bark tree I've ever seen, but doesn't seem willing to give up a sapling. It also doesn't chop down very well. <laughs> so I don't know um, whether it needed something else. It picks quite fun, gives me paper, but it didn't give me enough saplings. That's interesting. We'll have to keep an eye out for more paper bark saplings. But yeah, I think here, next to, right next to that, uh, sacred oak, we can... Ooh, what's this? We found sacred oak sapling. Oh, I think that's the first one of those that I've seen as well. So, we've got a sacred oak sapling. And I think here is where we want to have our tower. Uh, at least it will be a, definitely a supporting structure for our tower. Uh, though this is just going to be the communications tower that we need. Uh, I have a tendency to build stuff too small. 
Uh, so I'm going to try to not do that this time around. And just get started with the chest to basically put stuff, stuff I don't need on me immediately, like nearly all of our food and some of this decoration stuff. For now, though, we're just going to build up a tower that looks above. Uh, hopefully add a little bit more uh, decoration to the area. Let's take these ox eyes. All right, I've set up a little platform here. I'll probably go ahead and move my bed out this way. Um, but it's a little 5x5 five five tower. Hopefully it's not too, too small. Got to add a little entrance off of this way, because down here I'm planning to have um, just, just basically the support structure, or the support um, building, um, as opposed to the communications tower, which is what we're building up here. I'm just going to do... I probably don't have enough bricks. I'm just going to do... I don't have my glider on me. Oh well. Do I have a bucket? I do have a bucket, so I'm just going to grab some water. Um, if we can find any. I, grab, I guess I could grab some of this to slide down. Uh, this is just an uh, emergency exit when we need to. Oh hey, one of those things. All right, we're back. So I've been able to make this a uh, little bit taller um, than the sacred oak. I just have this water flow going down just so I can jump down off this uh, beacon pillar here. Uh, this is more or less a rough shape. Um, nothing too, too fancy. Is that still flowing down? I'm just going to hop down. Oh, where'd it go? Now, hop down to that as my ride. I only had it's only half a tower. Didn't ha quite have enough uh, cobblestone to make it all the way down. But oh, this is going to be dangerous, isn't it? Where's my bed? Get our bow out first. Get our beds out that way. Inconvenient. But you can see it at night. Let's get a look from another direction. Right now we have all the Ars Magica 2. Oh, crap, zombie. Uh, all the Ars Magica 2 fluid coming down, but you can see that. Not the end style, especially with that, that piece right up there. Um, not being quite right, but you can see how that could be an air traffic control. Oh, hello. Nice hat. Just get rid of this guy. Flowers in a hat. Thank you. Well, we can see how that uh, could be an air traffic control. It has a 360 de degree view, more or less. Um, patch it up with a little bit of glass. And we have a little bit of an airfield. Speaking of airfield, I'd want the landing strip. Oh boy. Spider and creeper right after. you go. It's the creeper that I more care about because it'll stick around and be hostile during the day. And there's another one up there. Yes, got it. Long shots. Arrows. Where'd that creeper go? That's still flowing down. That's funny. No, lost that creeper. Hopefully it despawned. All right. So that... That's the air traffic control. I want the supporting uh, building probably off this way. Off to the side. I need to get to that soon. And we have a oh, good amount of stuff to start building uh, farms and whatnot. All right, be back with you guys in a moment. I'll continue doing some building here in shortly. All right, we're back. And I'm just, oops, patching up a little bit of this uh, road work here. I just sketched out a little bit. Really wish I had a builder's wand. Um, but I lost that with the update to 1.710. Uh, would have made this much faster. Building that tower would have been much easier. 
Um, as you can see, I made a little update to that tower. Uh, since I am using airships as my primary form of transportation at the moment, I figure that might as well be uh, an airship tower. And that being the case, we could actually build uh, commercial airships. I'm not sure an appropriate way to um, get passengers down and into the uh, terminal down here. Um, especially since right now that is the air traffic control tower. I didn't think that quite through uh, when I was building it. I just said, hey, good idea. I can have an airship dock up here. Um, so let's take a fly around and see that's just a, a wall, the terminal. I hope I didn't leave any like gaps down there that uh, zombies and skeletons and whatnot can uh, fly in. But here we go. So, obviously those two uh, volcanoes are going to be markers to see where to land. When, especially when approaching from that direction. Uh, the sacred tree, we actually made this slightly taller than that sacred t tree. You can see the scaffolding that I have inside the, eight, the air traffic control tower. Uh, the terminal house, you can't quite see from this point of view. You can see in the, over in the left there, just the ske the, just a sketch of it. Let's just get up a little bit more. So I've been thinking about installing Optifine. Apparently it has better um, camera stuff that you can use, meaning I can zoom out a little bit more. Um, and there might be something here that I can use, I just don't know what it is. If you guys do know uh, of something, uh, give me a shout and I'll go ahead and install and try it out. All right, it might take a few weeks ooh, for me to respond. Um, let's just go like this and back up. It might take me a few weeks to respond and like this. No. Oh, God. That's actually one of the problems with um, <laughs> the Archimedes mod <laughs> is that uh, sometimes, sometimes... Uh, you just fall through the bottom of your ship uh, when unmounting. So, yes. <laughs> if I used a different one, if I just uh, left ship shifted, I would have uh, parachuted down. But at least this way, we could see up through the interior here. It's a bit rougher than I'd like, because I just basically replaced the bottom down there. And then we climb up the interior here, and in dark, gloomy insides. Need some lighting. Really should go and grab my stuff, though. Stupid airship killing me. And on the inside, you can see here I've been trying out, um, seeing the clear glass, see if we can get a better view of the airstrip down there. Not really. Plus, the uh, Tinker's gla glass pane does not connect up to this clear glass. That kind of bothers me. And up here, the higher part of the tower, there is actually a ceiling here. You can see the tooltip saying cobblestone. Um, can't see the airstrip very well from here, but anything flying by, you should be able to see. Let me just turn clouds off for a second. There we go. Tower. And... Just hop. Ouch. Hop over to this. <sighs> Assemble ship. Mount ship. And we can see, if we go up a bit, down is not up. Uh, we have that little tower up there. That's our antenna. Put, eventually I'll put a light up there to warn aircraft away. I switched that over to being a fence, or a wall, instead of uh, just a stack of blocks. All right. Well, this has been Movies Rex from Movies Archives. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave us a like, leave us your comments and suggestions, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day, and a wonderful night. Bye-bye.